Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. In today's video we will show you how to do guys an oil change on Dodge Dart. If you have a Dodge Dart between 2012 and 2016, stay with us. We will show you everything from start to finish. What needs to be done guys to change your engine oil. Now, quick introduction guys. As you probably know, we have, we will have more than 200 videos on Dodge Dart and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully guys we can save you some serious money. So let's explain what needs to be done to change your engine oil. As you can see our front bumper is missing. Why? Because guys we are putting that car together and uh, we did an engine replacement. That's the old engine right here. So quite a few videos were made on the engine. Check it out. And uh, we decided to show you guys how to change your engine oil. Doesn't matter if you have the bumper or not, procedure is practically the same. So we have the guy and we have the car on uh, uh, jack stands. You jack in the air, front wheels are off the ground, you can see. So that can give us a little bit of clearance and we can get under the car. We did that on both sides, symmetrical, so we have the same, okay, the same height on both sides. Now, some people guys they tend to drain the engine oil. Okay, after driving the car for a while, that way it will warm up and come out better, they say. Others do it cold. Now, if you don't feel confident, do it on cold engine, guys, because you can severely burn yourself under the car. It's next to the, the old plug is close to the exhaust, so you can burn your face, yourself, guys, terribly. So I would recommend to do that only when the engine and the car has been cold and not driven for at least, guys, I would say five hours. So when you get under the car, Okay, right there guys, on the back side of the oil pan is where your oil plug is located. 13 millimeter socket and we're going to go ahead and get that oil plug loose now. Okay, and that thing is super tight, so we're going to get the ratchet and actually try with it. So, as you can see, this is the exhaust, okay, right here I'm talking about. So you can guys severely, severely burn yourself, be very careful okay how you work then especially if it's cold if it's hot excuse me because you can severely severely burn yourself so now we're going to get the ratchet that way we can have a little bit more power hopefully remove it it shouldn't be that tight to start with who got it that tight i have no idea perfect came loose so okay we're taking it off now always use gloves and eye protection why we don't i don't know but you should. And all the tools and parts, including uh, the tools guys and the engine oil, oil filter, all that will be listed in the description of the video below. Now we're demonstrating on a 2.4 engine, but if you have the uh, 1.4 or 2.0, the procedure will apply as well. Most of the things will be the same. Engine filter will be the same. So definitely guys, it will work for both, uh, for all three engines actually. And I'll share the oil capacity for all three of them. So. With oil filter pliers guys, we're going to get the oil filter loose now. All we have to do, grab it and start turning it. Okay, and we're going to wait a little bit because it's going to leak oil out until we get the container and the container we're still waiting for the oil to drain out of the oil pan. So we're going to give it a little bit of time to drain, probably about 5-10 minutes and we'll continue. So. It's done guys, inspect your oil plug, make sure that the seal is good on the oil plug, install it. Catch it always by hand, don't use any power tools until you're sure that that thing is tight. Now, uh, if you want to find the torque spec guys, we'll have, it, we'll have a video on the channel about that engine. We'll explain most of the common torque specs for oil drain plug, head gaskets, things like that. If you need guys, we'll be making the video very soon, so check it out. This one is tight, now we can start on the oil filter, we already pre-loosened that, so all we have to do is just go ahead and remove it, again use eye protection and gloves. And why I said it's better on cold engine, because you will not burn yourself guys, because even if you have gloves, you can still burn yourself. Perfect. We'll show you what to do next. Next, we will get the oil filter. That same filter, guys, according to the manual that I checked, it's the same filter for all three engines, absolutely the same. So what, you, what we're going to do, when you remove the old filter, make, uh, filter, make sure that this gasket 
is still attached to the old filter it's not stuck on the old filter housing so you don't have two gaskets because you start leaking oil now we're going to apply a thin amount of oil on the gasket that way it will not get stuck next time we need to remove the filter and we'll fill the center portion of the filter with oil that way we'll guys prevent dry start what is dry start it's when the engine cannot get guys oil so fill some of it on the inside try not to fill those holes here okay just apply a little bit on the o-ring and we'll be ready to uh, put it now according to the manual okay for that specific engine most of the times you need to use 0w20 oil we're using actually 520 uh, because where we live guys it's extremely hot so for hotter climate we try to use a little bit thicker oil because here it gets like super super hot like Fahrenheit it gets to like 115 places and actually Celsius that's like in the 40s guys like 45 something like that so we'll go ahead get it tight by hand do not use any tools to get it tight and what I like about the farm filter they have the rubberized coating on the bottom so you can grab it okay and just get it tight perfect get okay two things not to forget so far to install the old drain plug get it tight and to install and get tight the uh, oil filter so this step is done what else guys uh, here you have the engine cover we removed ours so we don't get it dirty we're going to open the old cap you can see how it says 0w20 now depending on which engine now you have okay check out the table here guys it says for the 1.4 engine it says four quarts uh, american 3.8 liters 2.0 engine uses five quarts 4.7 liters or 2.4 uses 5.5 quarts or 5.2 liters this is with uh, changing the oil filter and i will definitely recommend to always change your oil filter too so this jug is five quarts so we will add the whole jug and after that we're going to guys add a little bit from a second bottle or a jack. Okay, so this one is practically empty. We're going to add half a quart more to this jack so we know uh, exactly how much. Okay, you can see how we have the different uh, marks on the jack, and we'll continue. So we added half quart we're going to add it to the engine that way we'll know that we will add as much as the manual says 5.5 and we'll show you guys what to do after that okay perfect now uh third thing not to forget okay actually four things our drain plug oil filter to add oil and get your uh, funnel out and install oil cap i've seen many people forget the cap you start driving you lose oil vapors engine vacuum and that could be terrible guys now we'll go ahead pull the dipstick and we're going to wipe it but we'll need to guys actually level the car we'll, we'll put it on the on the floor we'll remove the jack stands and we'll make sure that we get guys the accurate reading so we let the car down it's leveled now it's not in the air now what we're going to do guys we're going to pull the dipstick we're going to wipe it one more time and uh, that way guys we can check the level okay and see uh, how the level is before we actually start the vehicle okay perfect now pull and let's get the reading from what we can see it's a little bit above the maximum mark okay hold on let me focus quick a little bit slower okay maximum and it's above the maximum so that's that's a good thing because uh, now the oil filter will take a little bit more in addition guys okay the system will take a little bit more so uh, probably it will be close to the maximum when we are ready to uh, uh, with the procedure so now we need to go inside guys and we'll go ahead start it and i'll show you what to do so after we add the oil and we're ready we're going to pull the dipstick again okay let's check it out okay what level we have we're going to wipe reinsert it and i'll show you guys what we'll be doing next okay and as you can see guys our oil level okay is about almost to the top not all the way but almost to the top to the maximum okay we spilled a little bit right here that we need to wipe so what i'll do guys remember we filled up the oil filter with some oil but it will still take some so what i'm going to do now i'll go inside and we're going to uh start the car 
Okay, and we are going to let it run for about 30 seconds, guys. But you need to make sure that your okay, excuse me, that your oil light is not on because if the oil light is on, you need to uh, for more than five seconds stop the car immediately because there is something wrong and the car is not getting oil. So starting it now. My own light is not on. I'm going to let it idle for a little bit. That way it can build all the oil pressure and all that stuff. It can bring oil in the multi-air system, which is known as the brick guys, where it controls the intake valves. Okay, perfect. I'm going to turn it off. We we'll wait about five minutes and we're going to read the oil level again. Okay, let's pull the dipstick. It's been about five minutes. We're going to wipe it. We're going to reinsert it one more time. Pull it again. Okay. And our oil level dropped. Okay, let me turn the light on so you can see a little bit better. It dropped almost to the minimum mark. So what I would recommend guys, add a little bit more, maybe um, uh, just a little bit, check it again. I would recommend to bring it between the empty and full mark, minimum and full mark, bring it between both. That way guys, it will be safe. Closer to the full mark, but never exceed the full mark, because if you do, you can severely damage your catalytic converter and other engine components as well. So that's how you guys do the oil change. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you doing that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.